What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a, another kind of gunsmithing video, kind of not really a gunsmithing video. I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your end plate on your AR-15. This is a fairly simple thing to do, especially if you have the right tools. So um, this is an armorer's wrench. You can get this like literally everywhere. I got this from Walmart. And uh, real simple to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to be replacing this end plate on the, my AR-15, this Bravo Company end plate. Um, I just shot that everywhere. This has a QD point, so I want to run a one point sling on my AR-15, and I can't do that because I don't have a spot where I can easily do that. So I'm going to be replacing my end plate. All right. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to remove the buffer spring, which is a fairly simple thing to do. Um, you can see the buffer. So there's a little uh little, I guess, stop right here. You just need to press down on that, and uh, that can be kind of hard to do. And then, there you go. So your buffer spring and everything's out. Um, now you want to remove your stock. So your stock's now removed. Basically, you're taking apart your whole rifle. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to remove the castle nut and um, start taking the whole, I guess, back part of your AR-15 off. I've already uh, broken the castle nut and it is loose now. Remember, there's a spring right here that holds your pin in. Um, and it is very crucial that you don't lose any of that. And also, remember the catch right here your buffer spring so you want to ease that out and also ease this thing out so as you can see the springs right there I'm going to make sure that you just lightly remove pressure off of it and then when you start and just go ahead and take it out and uh, when you start to bu back your buffer tube off remember there is that back there All right. so we'll take this off Now we have just the lower here, and we want to remove the back plate right there, and we want to slide the new one on, all right? Just like so. So the new one's back. All right. Um, now we want to just basically reassemble it. Um, it should be fairly simple. Put the You want to make sure your spring is down. You want to make sure your um, buffer system is good. And then you want to tighten your castle nut right here. Like so. Alright. I'd also recommend um, staking your castle nut. We're not going to do that right now. Um, that's something I don't personally know how to do. Um, so... I'm not going to show you something I don't know, know how to do or understand how to do. Leave that in the comments on how to stake a castle. But we're just going to get it really tight for now. Um, then after we get it really tight, we are going to put in the buffer system. Or re-put in the buffer system. Um good thing for this a good thing to help put in the buffer system is a flathead screwdriver so you can stick that down in there push it down and it'll hold her in just like so and there you have it then you, all you have to do is just Put on your stock and you're good to go. Yep, 
now you have the QD plate and you have a brand new end plate on your AR-15. Alright, so guys, I think that about does it. I'm really pleased with it. I think it looks great. I like the new end plate. And I like being able to put a uh, sling back there. My other one, for some reason, I don't know why, but I just made it difficult. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, go subscribe. Go tell me what you think of this end plate and how my video did. Was it informative? Did it help you out? Let me know down below. Um, leave a like, guys, and remember, take someone outdoors. I'll see y'all next time, and thanks for watching.